Okay, last problem, 37, is the salad bar problem. And this is just like um, the pizza topping problem uh, up in example 9. Specifically, in this case, it's exactly like 9b. Okay, so you can look at 9b, example 9b if you want, but... Um, we go through the same process here. It's a salad bar, and you have to think about it a, a little bit, but there's nine different salads to choose from, and Mary apparently has the freedom to choose any number of those different salads, which means she might just choose one, and so in that case, it would be uh, 9, choose 1, and it's a combination problem because there's no, it would, it's sort of meaningless to say that order matters. She's just going to put 1 on her plate. But she could choose 2, in which case it's 9, choose 2. She could have 2 of the 9 salads on her plate. And again, order doesn't matter. It, it's meaningless to say if she puts salad 1 on the plate and then salad 2, that's not any different in terms compared to putting salad two on the plate first and then salad one. So she could do nine, choose two. She could do nine, choose three, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then you would add these all together. So it's that simple. Um, it's just, uh, you know, kind of a, Redund uh, a, a task that's just filled with a lot of repetition. You have to, you have to calculate um, the value of all of these different uh, combinations and then add them together. Um, but as they point out in the pizza problem, pizza topping problem, there is a different way to do this. And um, it's either, let's say you've got nine different salads each each digit here represents a different salad and then it's just a question of yes or no yes or no to each one etc 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 so she might just circle yes to number one and the rest are no or she might circle choose two and so it's, it's just a different way to arrive at the same answer. And you can see how that's done up in um, the pizza topping problem.